you guys it is Monday and I have been editing the vlog almost all day it takes me forever especially the um, really long ones whenever I don't do it throughout the week so I'm uploading that now and I'm working on a blog post to also tell you guys about it and right now I'm going to take Paisley outside Hopefully get a shower before Austin gets here. I need to do the dishes. I need to make dinner. And yeah, I mean, I need to wrap presents. I need to do crafts. So much stuff going on. What's up, you guys? So it is Tuesday. You know what that means. We are going to the cleaners. So, whoa. Fixing to drop out the trash so I don't forget it. And then. We're gonna go get the cleaning. Alrighty. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go to town and go to the cleaners and then um, come back and probably make some dinner. Really not for sure what we're gonna do there. I have some ground beef thoughts. So it's probably looking like tacos or something like that. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm gonna head right now is to the cleaners. Let's see if they can get it right this time. We've got somebody else's jeans two weeks in a row now, which means Austin has barely had enough jeans to make it through the week, which we can wash them, but there's a reason he gets some starts and he likes some starts. Hey guys, I am back at the house and you should see this place. Look at it. Look. Christmas. And I need to get all that stuff wrapped. So anyways, it's still going to be piled up. It doesn't matter if it's wrapped or not. So I am just making some, or I'm browning some ground beef, and then I think it's going to be tacos. Austin's working a little late. That's what's going on around here. Not too exciting. I'm sure you guys are really sick of me saying that, and so, because, I don't know, whenever I'm editing this thing, I know where you I annoy the crap out of myself so I don't know how you guys aren't annoyed thank you so much for sticking around because ooh, <laughs> it's been kind of rough hey guys it's Wednesday and I have been doing some more Christmas stuff and finally started to get out the crafting stuff I'm gonna be doing a couple homemade gifts and right now I'm also uploading the first planner unboxing the start planner is gonna be first so it will be up if you're watching this and I will link it down below if you're interested in that. I'm going to try to film the other unboxings hopefully tomorrow is my plan. So that's what's going on right now and I hope you guys are having a good day. And I'm still vlogging. Yesterday was could have been my last day but I just decided I think I'm just going to do one more week and then see how it goes because it's already kind of a habit kind of a habit i really do want to show you guys these crafts but i'm afraid people are going to know who i'm going to give them to so here's just kind of a sneak peek of the like look that i'm going for and then i'll try to film um i'll try to film like what i'm doing whenever it's done and maybe i can share it with you guys after christmas hello just checking in i just heard from austin he's gonna have to work late again but i'm making burgers tonight so i think i'm fixing to go ahead and get those ready and set them out and oh someone's calling me who that was my mom this phone is not working i'm gonna have to call her on the other phone i'll be right back hours later Austin is headed home I'm cooking dinner and also filling out our Christmas cards do you guys want to see them I want it to be a surprise for some of our family maybe those are yours maybe they aren't I don't know but anyways I also have a really sad confession an update on the succulents oh it's so bad let me get them. Here they are. The, 
him's dead. I have three that are doing good. And look at that one. Like, it's growing. So, I mean, I basically have it figured out. <laughs> Just kidding. That's really embarrassing. But, hey. I never said that I was going to be able to keep them alive. Anyways, I'm going to keep an eye on my dinner. I got stuff on the grill. We're going to have burgers tonight. Thought I would chat with you. Why... I cut these pickles. Austin's fixing to be home. I just got the burgers off the grill and they smell amazing. Luckily, Rodney and Brooke, which um, whenever you guys hear me talk about them, that is my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Anyways, they have a freezer and so we were able to both buy beef that my family grew and have that up here with us and so it's been really nice because the last couple times that we haven't taken our cargo trailer we haven't been able to have beef from home so it's really nice to be able to have that I can't believe that we've been vlogging now for a month it's so weird and I really love it. You guys have been so sweet as to watch and comment and everything. I already love looking back on them. So I think it's going to be kind of addicting. So anyways, do you guys, have you guys ever thought about doing something like this? I know home movies used to be so popular and now they aren't. Um, but would you ever do this? Like even if you didn't share it like we're doing, if you just kept it to yourself. Just curious if it's something that you've ever thought about doing. So, I think that is it. I have my pickles. Can't find the class in pickles, which is the one that I like. Um, and the cut up kind, so I just buy the baby ones and then cut them up myself. Hey guys, I hope you can see me. It's Thursday and I'm just headed to town to run some errands. Um, it is like 5.15. I'm really not running errands. I'm going to get some Christmas presents. Um, so anyways, I am going to head that way and I will pick the camera back up whenever I get there. Okie dokie, I'm at the outlet. Let's go in and do some Christmas shopping. What's up you guys? I just got done filming the unboxings of the Emily Light and the Inkwell Press Planner. I hope they went well. They might already be up. If they are, I'll link them down below. But I just wanted to go ahead and start the, um, do a little vlog clip for today. So that's what I have going on. A little behind the scenes info. My house is a disaster. Like what you see, that's not a direct representation of what's going on. I have stuff everywhere. Christmas stuff is everywhere. And... The lighting in the bedroom, which is the only place that doesn't have stuff everywhere, was not working. So the sun also just came out. The whole time I've been filming these videos, the sun has not been out. And natural light is what I rely on right now for these videos because I don't have any lights in the camper. So that's just great. That's great. Hopefully the quality will be okay. But I think I'm fixing to get some lunch and possibly tackle some of this mess. I also need to go to the, I also need to go to the post office today and mail a package to my mom. And well, I just got out of the post office. I sent a package to my mom 
and got stamps for our Christmas cards and I met the sweetest lady. She actually used to live in Oklahoma City so it was really cool. I asked her if she liked living there and she said yes she loved it and that she missed it. And I always ask people that know Oklahoma what their favorite part was because people ask me that all the time. And she said, I can't really explain it. And I said, well, I always tell people it's the community and the people. And she said, that's it. She was like, you just can't explain it. So anyways, that's why you should go to Oklahoma. That's why it's a great place to live. I just thought I would share. So anyways, love where I'm from and always love telling people about it and trying to get people to go there and experience it for themselves. So there's that little bit of advice. I am headed to the grocery store now. Okay, so look, look. <laughs> this might not mean anything to some of you, but some of you who've known me for a long time know that I bought stamps before stamp prices went up, before we sent out our wedding invitations, for 300 invitations. And then I made the invitations and they told me that because they weren't flat, I had to put extra postage on them. And so instead of having to put two stamps on everything, I just ended up buying the correct like dollar amount or cent amount of stickers. There would only be like one sticker on there. And so three, over three years later, and I am officially out of this roll and I only have four left on another roll and I have probably like 20 something left on a different one so anyways there's that I'm I've given some away I've even sold some and I'm finally getting down to a manageable amount of stamps so yay okay now I'm really going to the grocery store Paisley, is it bedtime? You don't want to talk? You don't want to talk to anybody? Are you trying to sleep? Can you get her on body? Yeah. You're like a sloth, Paisley. Oh. Is he going night night? Is he going night night? What's up you guys? It is Saturday and it's a little bit later in the day, a lot later than the day, a lot later in the day. But I was just out taking Paisley on a walk so I thought I would say hello and maybe we'll go eat dinner a little bit later tonight. I just text Austin to see when he's going to be home. But I was going to show you guys these shoes that I got. Because this campground is extremely muddy. And I'm always needing something that I can like slip on and go pull the tanks or whatever. And normally I just slip on some Austin shoes. But it's too muddy for that. So I got these ones that are waterproof. And I really love them. So I thought I would show you guys. Look like this. And I obviously don't want my feet tucked into them. But... They're Sorrel's and I love them. They're so easy to just slip on and I even wore them to town. They're super comfortable. I just thought I would show you guys because I've really been loving them. I've had them for a couple days now. So they weren't too bad as far as being waterproof and they're relatively warm. So check them out if you guys are in need of something like that.
So we're back in the campground. Something funny just happened. We always put the trash on the back of the truck because I have like a tonal cover to take it to the dump. Well, we both forgot about it and then like a couple miles down the road, we realized that we didn't take it out. So we drove back and we got really close to the campground and we hoped it was in the campground, but it was right outside and somebody had ran over it. So we turned around and we went back and we were picking up our trash out in the middle of the highway and we put it back in the truck and now we're back at the campground taking it to the dumpster but I didn't vlog I should have but we were like running on the side of the road and it's really foggy out and it was dangerous so I didn't want to be dangerous but it was still funny. Was that fun? Yeah. Way fun. <laughs> so anyways, the so kind of stuff you get whenever you hang out with us. Um, the last road trip we had and people who follow me on Facebook know this but I had got cash somebody was paying me back for something and I was throwing trash out and I had the cash in my hand and I put it in the little Walmart sack that I was throwing all the trash out of the floor buried in. Then the lady while we were inside before I noticed that my cash was gone took like all the trashes out and put them in the big dumpster at this truck stop. And so I realized before we left and I had to go ask her if she remembered like which dumpster she put it in and she did it and I got really lucky but I had to go dumpster driving because that was like $200 so anyways we're not we're not above dumpster diving or picking our trash up off the side of the road so hang out with us it'll be interesting okay now we're really going to town